This is stateroom 1007. It is a mini suite balcony. So the store goes in the bathroom. Look at that in a minute. It has a nice little lit vanity here. And a king size bed, lots of pillows, my purse and juice. Wow, <laughs> quite the headboard, right? And then over here, you can close it off or you could leave these curtains tied back like that. It's a little sitting area with matching artwork. And of course the balcony, which we'll show in a minute. And then it has lots of drawers, sort of a vanity desk. And then it has a little coffee maker. That's the TV talking about the mustard drill. Oh yeah, it's got a little... Oh, it's really hot coming from there. But it's cold. A lot of times these little fridges, they're, they're, they're actually cold. And then it's got, if you had, I guess, things you want to put behind glass. And... Here we go. It's not a pretty view right now. It's going to be a view of the parking garage. Oops. I assume I can't lock myself out. I'm going to check the door just to be... Okay, well first off, it looks like there's a door to the adjoining balcony. So I guess if you're traveling with people, you could open that up. It's got two little chairs and a table. This is even smaller, I think, or about the size or smaller than the Princess, the Regal Princess. They have some pretty small balconies. They're kind of known for that. But look, there's the Carnival Breeze and a little bit of the Disney ship and then the Norwegian Breakaway back. And this is the working end of the cruise industry here. People delivering there's a semi down there delivering something, probably food. People are still getting on the ship. It's about, I think, close to 10.30. Look, there's still people in the parking garage actually walking. This ship you're supposed to be on by 2 o'clock. Or they won't let you on. Ooh, ooh, look at that. There's some big equipment there. What the heck is that? It is a tiny bit snug for a mini suite, but it's fine. But let's give it the finger test and see how clean the ship is. All right, I'm just going to start with this cabinet right here. Clean. Let's see right here in front of the coffee maker. Clean. How about this where the remote is? Clean. So far, so good. Clean. Ah, the place they always miss. Ah, uh, just a tiny, tiny bit. I think it was up in the crack. Uh, no, that's dusty. Look at all that. You can even see where my finger was. Yeah, they're not cleaning the back of the light fixture. Which isn't a big deal to clean. There's only two of them and they're not very big. But let's continue on and see the bathroom. The bathroom light is on the outside and the bathroom is actually the closet area, which looks pretty ample. You've got this whole set of built-ins and then you have hanging, which I appreciate that it has long hanging because some of them don't. And you bring in, you know, long dresses. Oh, and the safe. Nice. And those up above. Oh, this is a nice bathroom. There's the vanity. And mirrors with two cabinets. Nice. Hey, y'all. <laughs> 
and then a little vanity over here for like doing your hair and look it's got a little stool you can pull out and sit down it's got the blow dryer and does that work for us i, d I don't understand voltage <laughs> sorry i'm not an electricity person and a tub and shower toilet of course and look at the door it's one of these frosted doors that's kind of cool huh but look at the height of this look how tall the bathtub is seriously okay where am i here here's my foot my knee <laughs> it is above my knee about an inch above my knee and i have long legs okay, let's see what brand they have revive body wash and nourish conditioning shampoo and of course that handle comes off okay so the bathroom is a combination bathroom shower however you can close this door this kind of frosty door so that the toilet or shower area is separate from the others and from the closet all right that is the tour of room 1007 mini suite with balcony on the 11th floor of the norwegian sun